वेलकम टू वैल्यू मल्टी कैप्स वैल्यू मल्टी कैप्स से भी रजिस्टर्ड स्टॉक एडवाइजरी फॉर्म दिस यूट्यूब चैनल इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू एजुकेट आर सब्सक्राइबर्स अबाउट वेरियस कंपनीज इन लार्ज मिड एंड स्मॉल कैप स्पेस फाइनेंशियलाइजेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सेविंग इज अ बिग स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज इन इंडियाज इकोनॉमी थ्रू इनिशियटिव लाइक जी एस टी एंड डिमोनिटाइजेशन द फाइनेंशियल सर्विस सेक्टर लाइक प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज एंड म्यूचुअल फंड आर द बिगेस्ट बेनिफिशरीज ऑफ financialization of financial saving as bill gates said banking is necessary but banks are not globally banks are responding to this change and moving rapidly to embrace digital technologies technological development and shift in demographics are changing consumer preferences today in the series of large cap stock we will discuss a company which has just begun value unlocking it is the only bank in india's corporate history to be converted into a bank from non banking finance company name of today's stock is kotak mahindra bank india's fourth largest private sector bank largest financial conglomerate the group has wide presence across 1400 branches people's perception towards the bank is safe haven for their money the person who is running the bank has to be trustworthy mr uday kotak who is among the india's top banker and has a clean track record more than 30 years ago mr uday kotak young mba graduate started this journey let's look at this journey year 1986 anand mahindra gave 30 lakh rupees to uday kotak and he started kotak mahindra in 1990 mr uday kotak bought fd business for 50 lakh rupees and began lending business in 1991 kotak mahindra came up with public issue in 2003 first indian nbfc to be converted into commercial private bank in 2006 he bought entire stake of 26% held by goldman sachs in kotak mahindra capital and kotak securities in 2014 kotak mahindra bank and ing vaishya merger happened and in same year ernest and young announced mr uday kotak as entrepreneur of the year in 2015 kotak enters general insurance business in 2017 launched 811 pocket bank app mr uday kotak has quoted that in a marathon If you run too fast you get exhausted if you run too slow you never make it this is all about consistency and right pace based on his visionary thinking kotak mahindra bank is consistently growing kotak bank the stock is currently trading at around 1353 level with 50 week high and low of 1400 and 936 the fi 19 forward pe of the stock is 30 times company sales is consistently growing with a cagr of 16% and reporting profit growth of 23% over 5 years healthy dividend payout of 2% with good shareholder return ratios as 13% and 29% if you see the past 8 financial year track record of kotak bank as a stock it has always outperformed nifty even in bear markets of 2011 and 12 and 16 and 17 the company share price has risen more than 309% in the last 5 years outperforming bank nifty by 173% top institutional investors in the share holding list 7% holding by mutual fund industry where sbi mutual fund hold 1.6% stake in kotak bank foreign portfolio investors holding close to 40% stake in kotak bank let's see the business model banking business is the business of trust borrow money from people and lending it back to people this is the way it works when anyone goes into bank for opening account Kotak Bank offers additional services under its 10 subsidiaries. This is how they engage their customers by providing all services under one roof and makes profit on every front. The company is unlocking value through its subsidiaries. Kotak Mahindra Prime, Kotak's largest subsidiary engaged in car financing to retail customers. Kotak Securities with 2% market share is the bank's stock broking arm. Kotak Life Insurance provides life insurance to individuals and groups kotak mahindra amc is into mutual funds kotak investment advisors into alternate asset management and kotak mahindra capital is into investment banking let's look at the some of the positive triggers for kotak mahindra bank the merger with ing vaishya bank will allow kotak bank to leverage on large international corporates with access to overseas relationships of ing group the bank is in a sweet spot to capitalize on growth opportunities and gain market share the management is focusing on product penetration with higher emphasis on agriculture which will help priority sector loans small business loans 
this is an untapped opportunity creating niche for itself and mortgage loans looking at the size of opportunity digital banking the future of india has to be led by digital infrastructure favorable regulatory framework customer awareness and willingness to adopt digital technologies the digital revolution has swept across industries and financial service space has seen these wins 365 million customers in the market size for digital banking 64% of that are underbank and unbank population the government initiatives like digital india and aadhar yojana probably will convert this underbank population 811 account the fiducial way is the part of the company strategy to acquire customers in a cost effective way targeting the mass segment digitally various credible and domestic book broking outfit has given buy rating on kotak mahindra bank with target of 1650 to 1750 level by fy20 with implied upside of 25% plus we have positive rating on the stock for a holding period of 1.5 to 2 years value multicaps is sebi registered research analyst to read detailed research report of kotak mahindra bank please visit our website valuemulticaps.com and download free research report to get regular free newsletter with hot stocks on fund manager and analyst trader please sign up into our website to get real time updates directly into your email inbox to receive more such informative video please subscribe to our channel value multicaps and please press bell icon to get notified thank you